Hello everybody and welcome back to their very first farm in Farming Simulator 22. We are continuing to try to build our modest little operation here up into a major dairy and egg producer and uh, the goal post for this is basically to just try to get a couple of production chains going and we'll call this farm good. We are getting pretty close to the end there. Our plan for today I believe is to get to where we can harvest our wheat as well as probably cut some grass. I do have an announcement to make uh, for those of you who haven't been following along with any of the other content. Um, I recently decided to make a change in my channel uh, because the grind of the way I've been doing things for the last year is just really starting to get to me. Um, and so I wanted to figure out a way to kind of alleviate that a little bit as well as get to the point where hopefully I can start making making it so that instead of pumping out a volume of videos, I'm hopefully getting better quality videos and each video itself will do better rather than just relying on just getting a, a, a lot of videos crammed in over a long period of time. So my plan at this time is to scale back my production schedule as far as publishing goes uh, and do one video uh, for each of my games to publish once a week and then I'm gonna do five games to do that with so I know I know I'm not explaining this well uh, basically I'm gonna have the same the same games that I've been playing but they're only gonna publish once a week so Mondays will be Elite Dangerous Tuesdays will be this game Wednesdays will be my hunting content uh, I think I'm gonna bring back American Truck Simulator and do those on Thursdays and then I think uh, I'm leaning towards Fridays being a special uh, a special kind of thing where I do a different game every week it'll be my free to play Fridays is what I'm thinking uh, so ideally that'll be that there. So unfortunately those people who have really come to enjoy having daily content for the specific videos that you guys watch that's going to be a thing of the past. Uh, these videos and, and you know some people are going to benefit from this and some people are going to kind of take a hit on this and this this particular game is going to be one of them because I was already at the point where uh, getting around 30 minutes of video, I was struggling to do that with just the way I was doing it. And now since I'm doing, uh, I'm going to be doing video editing. I know I kept saying I wasn't going to do that, but I'm going to be doing video editing again, some light video editing. Uh, and adding time lapses and that kind of stuff in there is going to make it even harder to stay within that 30 minute time limit. So I may not keep that as a hard and fast rule, but uh, I'm generally aiming for around 30 minutes. So anyways, all of that said, that's the announcements. Oh, yeah, like I, said, like I was saying. So some people are going to have a better time because like my Elite Dangerous content and then the American Truck Simulator content, when I bring that back in, they're going to have a lot more, a lot more uh, things that are a lot better in their content. Um, because they're going to have some time lapses and stuff that makes it so that we get more content into a shorter period of time. Uh, you guys will get a benefit because ideally you're going to have some nice time lapses for the harvesting and stuff that we do. Uh, the one that's going to take the biggest hit is my hunting content because those guys are just, there, there's no way for me to change that content in a way that's going to make it meaningful. So I'm basically just going to record those the same way that they've been going. Uh, so those guys are just going to take all of a 100% hit on that, and that, that really sucks, but there's just really no way around it. So anyways, uh, like I said, our plan for today is I guess we're going to try to harvest some wheat, and then we'll get to where we can cut some grass. Um, I don't really know how long it's going to take us to get all of this done. So I guess let's check our chicken. Oops. Let's check our chickens and see how good they are on their feed. We're currently in June, so we need to get to July and August, I think. I think August is the first month that we can harvest. Maybe. Let's go ahead and advance time to next month and we'll see how... We'll see if it pops into... Okay, I guess we're ready to harvest then. So let's go ahead, we'll grab our combine, we'll grab our... We'll grab our header for it and we'll get started with some harvesting of wheat right so as I said um, while I'm sure that you know a lot of people are gonna be disappointed with the reduction in the schedule I'm hoping that doing it this way will allow me to a not go quite as insane as I do trying to rush through all of my games because uh, you know, I have I have several games that I'm trying to get to and then B, uh, you know, by doing a little bit of video editing, I can make it maybe higher quality. I'm, I'm going to try to make it higher quality, but, you know, 
I don't know. I'm, that's one, one of the things I struggle with is just creativity and art, art, arti artistic vision and things like that. Don't really know if that's actually going to be something... Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's actually going to be something that helps. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started with cutting this field. And while we do that, hopefully I'll have a, a time lapse in here with some music. So here we go. Well, um, this is one of the reasons why I need to step back to one video a week, because that entire cutting of the field took me 29 minutes to do. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't re I, like, you don't really pay attention to it when you're in the middle of a cut, because you're just trying to get the stuff done, you're not really paying attention to the passage of time, but when you have the number laid out for you like that, that, that's, that explains a little bit of the burnout. It's, that's, that's just, a, that's a lot. So anyways, let's go. Let's take our harvester back over here. We'll get it emptied out, folded up, put away for the year. Then we'll go back and we'll grab our tractor and get that unloaded. And then we can head over or we can uh, advance some time so we can plant our wheat for next year. Oh, if I can stop running into things, that would be super helpful. Okay. And we do, so while that's unloading that last 25%, we'll go ahead and take the tractor back over this way, because we do need the tractor to unload the eggs over there. So we might as well go ahead and get over this way. I'm going to leave these two fields uh, empty. I'm probably going to paint them into grass, and then we'll just have these three fields here for the wheat for the future. I know a lot of the, I don't want to say a lot of it, but a fair portion of that extra time was just fighting with the fences over there, trying to get as much wheat out of everything as we could. All right, so that's empty now. Let's go ahead and turn around and get this put away over here. Yeah. Right over here. Get it put down. Come on. And right there. All right, cool. And then we'll back our, back our combine into the barn here, and that'll be done for the year. Get it folded up. I always forget to do that. And then that's done and turned off. Get our tractor with all this extra wheat over here. Okay, can I disconnect this and let it keep going? Nice. Oh, I forgot it goes very quickly. All right, let's swing our trailer around, get the eggs loaded up and put into the cell point there. Uh, 
That's one, or at least one set. And that's two. Get these put on the cell point. Shouldn't have left the trailer there, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> I always mess myself up with this stuff, but whatever. My own impatience gets to me. I, I usually pay for it. You would think that I would learn, but I just never do. Okay, let's get that dropped off there. The only thing, irritating thing about that particular trailer is it takes forever to hook it up. All right. Come on. Just waiting for this stuff to get sold. Ugh, what a pain. <laughs> Need to relocate my cell point. Oh, I'm stuck on something. All right. Yeah, we definitely need to relocate this cell point. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, so let's shift P this. We'll do... Sell that. And then I think we'll just relocate the sell everything point to, say, here at the beginning. All right, that'll be better. Now we can take our... Well, since we have our Ultra trailer here, I think what we can do actually is get rid of these other two trailers and just keep that one full of wheat when we're not using it. Because it's a little bit awkward to have to switch back and forth between the two trailers over here. So I think what we'll do is we'll do that. Ooh. Uh, we'll overload our wheat there. The other trailer also dumps faster, so we won't have to wait so long for this to drop everything down and fill up the fill up the silo there. Oh, this trailer just really wants to mess with me. All right. Uh, just trying to get these hooked up so that I can get this guy to drop that off. Then we can take these over here, drop the rest of our grain in the silo, and then just sell off these two trailers. Like, look how long it's taking us to even get started. It's <laughs> just... Kind of ridiculous. All right, so we'll drag these guys over here. And we'll get them out of the way. Come on. Okay. That dropped off. I don't want to sell it with the weed in it because I don't. I'm pretty sure that sells. That'll, that'll get rid of the weed as well. All right, now we go into our shop here. We hop into our trailer section. We can sell this guy here. Sell this guy here. There we go. All right, and then our chickens should be fully fed. We don't have any cows yet. I don't think. Right? We don't got any cows. Um, we have enough hay that we could go ahead and buy some, though. So let's go ahead and head over to the cow barn. And we'll buy one cow... We'll buy one, uh, one barn's worth of cows, I think. Or we might have enough money for all of that. Let's check our bank loan first. Um, oh, wow, we still have a lot. <laughs> 
Never mind, I was gonna see if we could pay off our bank loan, but uh, I think I'd rather just go ahead and buy a bunch of cows. So I think what we'll do is we'll buy 45 cows here. Because they should have feed. They should have feed, right? I'm pretty sure we filled all of this up with feed before. I could have sworn that we filled that barn up with feed. I thought we filled both barns up with feed at some point. I am losing my mind, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we got we to gotta run back over here and fill up our barn with some feed, because uh, that's not that's no bueno. All right. Yeah, this is our multi-purpose carting around stuff trailer. That's what we're using it for. But if I remember correctly, we had plenty of hay in the thing here. I'm not going to bother with total mixed ration because the amount of effort and time it takes to do that is not really worth it. Uh, you know, you get an 80 per you get 80% of what you would get out of the total mixed ration with the hay. And with the amount of time it takes to do the mixing and all of that other stuff that you have to do, it's just, I'd rather just do hay. All right, that's one. We'll fill up this one, and we'll go ahead and buy the other set of cows, and then we're gonna have, then we're gonna have milk. All right, I'm just gonna leave that in there. I can always get another one. Okay, so let's drive around back to the other side. We'll fill up this barn with cows. that and then you know what we're gonna we're gonna need a trailer to move hmm we're gonna need a trailer to move the milk or I could just I could I'll try to remember to turn on the auto sale of the milk because that's actually easier to deal with than trying to do the, what, we, what we were just thinking so now we should have, sorry, I'm trying to get to my production or my food. So now we have two sets of, ch of cows here. They're all full on food. We have two sets of chickens. Everybody's full on food. So now we need to advance time to where we can plant some fields here. Let's save our game. Okay, now let's check our calendar. We have one more month before we can plant our wheat for the year. Okay, let's grab this guy. We'll get our, so now we should be, yeah, we're in right there in the, uh, we're right there in what we need for that. So let's go grab our cedar. Already set to wheat. Get it um, unfolded. Lowered. Get our GPS set up. Let's see, 90, get our width set properly. All right, so we'll get started on this with a nice time lapse and I'll bring you guys back when, or I mean, I'll take you out of it when we're done. There's no bringing you guys back anymore. <laughs>
All right, well, that one took 11 minutes and 30 seconds, so... <laughs> even with my little mods that I have that are speeding things up, you imagine how long it takes when, uh, with just regular timing? I don't, like, that takes a long time to get all that done. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our cedar away and we're going to call this an episode for today because I'm not really sure how long these time lapses are going to condense down into. And uh, like I said, this is kind of a new format for me, so I'm not really 100% sure how it's all going to work out. So this could be a relatively long video. It could be a really, really short video. I'm not quite sure. Uh, 30 minutes and then another like 11 and a half minutes uh, to put those in a time lapse that's not going to be like nauseating to watch. I have to figure out how long that's actually going to be. So we'll see. Anyways, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a membership, you can always click that thanks button. It is YouTube's form of a tip. Direct contributions such as those are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys are enjoying building this farm with me. Hope to see you for the next one. Have a great day, guys.